G'day, Alan here, Makara Boats. Today I wanted to talk to you about one of the major differences of our hulls uh, versus the rest of the aluminium industry. As you can see here behind me, uh, we've got a 35 foot hull on the jig. Some of the main uh, terminologies that we use in boat building is hull uh, frames. So a frame is a member that goes across the boat. Uh, stringers run longitudinally. And in some of our smaller boats, we run uh, full height girders. They also run longitudinally down the boat. And a keel bar, so a keel bar is basically the backbone of a boat. Um, some manufacturers don't actually run a keel bar, um, but we run a keel bar, it's 140 mil, just over five inches, eight mil, five sixteenth thick. So that's essentially the backbone of the boat, runs along the keel, that's where you're gonna take any impacts from things like logs uh, in the water. So a really important part of the boat. Um, all of our stringers, uh, typically 8mm uh, on our boats and 70mm thick. Stringers are like a rib cage basically. So um, they go between the frames, just like if your body didn't have a rib cage, you just collapse into a big mess. Well that's what happens with a lot of boats when they're um, pushed hard in, in offshore conditions and they don't have sufficient underfloor structure, um, they'll collapse between frames. So you can imagine if this boat here was only had these two frames here and not as much hull structure it'd be very easy for it to collapse between frames so that's why we build the hulls this way um, we see a lot of boats out there in the industry that don't have sufficient structure and uh, they they collapse between frames we've seen the whole front end of boats stove in um, when they're pushed hard in offshore conditions which they're not designed to do so our boats are built to Lloyd special service craft it's one of the highest standards in the world uh, for hull structure and uh, we're really proud of the hulls we build. All the structure, uh, frames and girders and keel bar gets fully welded and then all the stringers are chain stitched. So in a hull like this there would be about seven rolls of MIG wire just in the hull. Uh, in a competitor's boat there might only be three or even less, sometimes two rolls of MIG wire. So the reason this is really important uh, to have your hull structure looking like this is if aluminium is unsupported you get, will get movement of your hull plate and if you have stringers that aren't of a sufficient thickness uh, then you will have flexing between frames and over time the aluminium flexes and it will end up uh, hardening and cracking. As you can imagine, one of the common misconceptions in aluminium boats is that they're loud and they pound. The reason some alloy boats do pound, don't get me wrong, is because of the hull shape. But the other factor is that their hull structure and their hull bottom isn't supported well enough. So when you have hull structure like this, the biggest panel size in this boat is only about 6 inches, 100, 170 mil by 600 to 700 mil, to just over two feet. You compare that to some boats in the industry, they'll have three frames in a boat this size. So if you imagine having a boat with a frame spacing of about 12 feet, so one transom frame, one frame here, and then one frame at the dash, uh, that leaves a huge panel size, and obviously that acts like a drum. So you get a lot of uh, resonating sound with our hulls being 8mm or 5 16th hull bottom, they um, don't uh, drum or resonate as much, but the fact that they're fully, fully welded frames and chain stitch stringers means that there's no opportunity for vibration to happen or drumming to happen on the hull bottom. So our hulls are just as quiet as any other fiberglass boats on the market. Another key point of difference with our hulls is the 8mm uh, keel bar and 8mm stringers and also we run 5mm frames so not only is there 11 frames in this boat they're all 5mm frames and in some instances like the engine bearers here they're actually 8mm eight, eight frames as well, under the engine bearer so if you've got any more questions about hull structure uh, feel free to get in contact with us sales at makaraboats.com you reach out to me alan at makaraboats.com um, for more info and uh, yeah now that you've learned a bit about our hulls and why they're so different to the rest of the aluminium boats on the market we'd love to see you in one.